Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to have your Mindflayer Minecraft bots pathfind to any location in Python. Now this pathfinding bot is built using the same concepts that we learned when we were building our jumper bot. Now before we start, this script has two requirements. The first being this 3D vector conversion util file that we demonstrated in one of our previous tutorials. And the second is this Mindflayer Pathfinder library, which is just a library that implements pathfinding for Mindflayer bots. Now we're going to start by taking a look at the changes from our jumper bot. The first being the change in the command name. So previously it was look at me, now it's come to me. Slight differentiation there. And then similar to our previous scripts, we find all player locations. We find the specific player we're looking for. We get their location. And then down here, we will log some feedback to our console. Except this time, we're going to be using pathfind to goal and then player location, where previously we used bot.lookat, player location, and then run and jump. Now let's take a look at what this custom function pathfind to goal is. Now we're just going to scroll up a bit here and you're going to see this right here. This is Mindflayer Pathfind to Goal. Just a quick utility function that I added to the script to help any bot pathfind to a specific goal location. And the way it works is we use bot.pathfinder set goal. And the way this works is you give it a specific goal and then the bot will try to reach that goal. Now in this case, the goal we're giving it is a Mindflayer Pathfinder dot pathfinder dot goals dot goal near followed by a player location and a radius. So what this is going to do is it's going to find this location and say we want our bot to be within one block of this location. And if it fails to do this for whatever reason, we've got a very simple try accept case here where it'll just throw an error and it'll let us know why it may not be working. Now let's take a look at how this works in practice. All right guys, as always, we're gonna run our script, we're gonna open up our client, and I hope you're ready because you're about to see some crazy stuff. Now with everything you're about to see, I want you to keep in mind this is the complete default settings, nothing fancy. You can see the code we wrote, like something like five to 10 lines of code maximum to add all this pathfinding. It's absolutely crazy. I hope you're ready for this. Let's get going. So uh, first we need to find our pathfinding bot. So I'm gonna slash tp pathfinder bot to myself. You can see this is our pathfinding bot. It does have creative mode, very important to keep in mind, but a lot of this does still work in survival. It's gonna be a bit different for many reasons. Um, just know that it won't be using creative fly or anything fancy like that. Got a quick little uh, test area here. So we're gonna TP the bot to us over here. And then we're gonna go right over here and we're gonna say, come to me. And you're gonna see the bot's just gonna pathfind to where I was when I sent the message. And it's quite cool. And then we can stand up here this is the fancy part. It will automatically find its way up. And we're gonna TP it to us real quick. If we go over here, it can do some basic parkour. And then if we go down here, you might expect that the bot just jumps down because it doesn't understand the falling mechanics here where you can just sprint down. We say, come to me, we'll actually run across where I've seen some other bots will like realize there's a gap here and then just fall down and then walk to you. This one's super cool and it actually understands that. Now, unfortunately, the bot, if you take away this, you'll see if we do some slightly harder parkour, uh, I don't think it actually, I think it just opts for cheesing. Oh, it still does, oh my God, it still does two plus ones? Jeez, okay, let's try three plus ones. All right, let's get to come down. Wait, no way he just did that, no way he just did that. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't actually, age. okay, yeah over here buddy all right i want you to come here now there's no way you jump down these three plus ones all right so this is three minus ones for the bot that's crazy bro that's crazy this bot is actually robotic but in a cool way like that's that's absurd to me that's so incredibly cool this is dude this, this is absurd I don't know what to say. If you don't think this is the coolest thing in the world, then I don't know why you're watching these tutorials, man. This is incredible. And as always, guys, in the description, you will find three sections. The first being a link to the code used in this tutorial. The second being links to all my references used for making the script shown in this tutorial. And the third being two Discord links. The first being a link to the Prismarine JS Discord for more general Mindflare help. And the second being a link to our community Discord if you have any questions regarding these tutorials in particular. That's it. Cheers.